hi everyone um this video is going to be interesting so this is about brian shaw who was asked by one of his fans the other day um to go out and break all my world records just so that people would stop talking about the game changers how bothered by a film do you have to be to back four-time world's strongest man brian shaw to go out and do something so that people stop talking about that film i mean look for yourself can you please go break all of the vegan strongman's world records so people will stop talking about him and that documentary the strongman community will thank you i don't need to um to go break all of his records because i would feel i don't know what they are but i would feel pretty comfortable in saying that in any lift that he's claiming he has a world record i've lifted more so after rejecting the pathetic request by his fan brian went on and asked me to challenge him in any lift predicting that he would be able to easily beat me no matter what the exercise now being a huge fan of brian's for quite some time i'm not going to ignore this challenge um, but let's first see what Brian exactly had to say. You know, I know there's people out there that just take um, people's word and they say, oh, I hold a world record in this or I hold a world record in that. But, you know, it, it's um, definitely not proven. And, uh, you know, it's something where what I would say is uh, for him, it, it, Patrick, I believe is his name. He's more than welcome at any point in time to come and train with me and challenge me in anything, literally anything, any event uh, that he wants to do that he, he thinks he's uh, the world record holder in or the best in the world at, I, I would welcome any of that. And maybe, you know, for him, it would give him some, some you know, valid uh, case to stand on. Okay, so what's becoming more and more obvious here is that Brian doesn't really know all that much about me. Um, and uh, he's trying to stay respectful, although he claims that my records uh, are just something that I claim with words and they don't have a real basis, uh, so that it just sounds like everything is just made up. Um, and this is going to become very clear when he talks about his own yoke record next. So let's see what he has to say next. Like that, you know, because in strongman there's a lot of world records so for example if you take the super yoke specifically the heaviest weight that's ever been carried in a super yoke event in in the history of strongman is 1565 pounds and i won that event at the arnold classic um in the best time i i, I covered the course in the best time so therefore i hold the world record for the heaviest weight ever carried in a super yoke in a official competition and um and patrick was not involved in that competition so you know things like that i i you know i know there's people out there that just take um people's word and they say oh i hold a world record in this or i hold a world record in that but so brian is correct here he has done the heaviest yoke walk ever done in history but does that mean that my world record is illegitimate it sure sounds like it the way brian tells you that um, the problem is just that he forgets to mention a few important details. His record is from 2016 and there have been actually heavier yoke walks than mine at the Arnold as soon as 2015 and 2014. But my record is from 2013. So it predates those yoke walks and my record is also for a much longer distance than any of these heavier yoke walks at the Arnold later in later years. So none of these walks actually break my world record. And, and this is important, before I did my record in 2013, I contacted Dion Masters, of, um, um, who, who is one of the organizers uh, behind the, the, the Arnold's uh, Strongman Classics. Um, and I contacted Colin Bryce, who is the CEO of Giants Life, who run the World's Strongest Man. And I contacted um, Marcel Mostad, who is one of the heads of the Strongman Champions League. And I asked any of these people 
um, f what the heaviest yoke walk that has ever been done in their respective federations uh, was. So I did make sure that my yoke walk was heavier than anything that has ever been done in any major organization whatsoever. And then I made it an official Guinness world record. So it was, you know, bigger than any yoke walk in any federation. And it was sanctioned by Guinness world records. So it definitely was the heaviest yoke ever done at that point. And then later I went on and actually did a heavier one as a part of a competition in 2015 that was sanctioned by the German qualifying series for the Strongman Champions League and made it an official world record under the Champions League. So there is absolutely nothing that can be debated about the legitimacy of my world record. Now, could Brian go on and break that record if he wanted? Yes, absolutely, easily. Um, but he can break it a thousand times and it won't delegitimize my record that came years before his, period. No matter how much those better male fans of his cry their salty eyes out and beg him to go and break my world record, it will not touch the legitimacy of my record unless Brian travels back in time and does a heavier yoke walk before I did mine in 2013. Good luck with that. You know, if he's, if he's really that, and you know, the documentary is claiming certain things. Again, I, I would have to go watch the doc documentary to see what they say about him, to see if they say he's a world record holder or whatever. But, you know, that would be my take on it, is, um, you know, let's, let's put all the talking aside, whatever. And if you wanna come and, and step up to the plate and challenge me in literally in anything. I'm, I'm game to go in any event, any lift, whatever you want to do. Uh, I would welcome that and... Um... Okay, Brian, thank you so much for the invitation that I gladly accept, especially after I contacted you in July this year, um, when I was in Denver speaking at the Vetras Colorado, just around the corner of your gym. And I asked you um, if you would be willing to meet up and train with me. Um, and I only got a reply from your wife telling me that you were not available. So um, after that, I'm really glad that you now invited me to come and train with you. Um, I will gladly accept your challenge uh, and I would go with a max squat. No equipment outside of a belt and uh, knee wraps um, and uh, a proper squat bar, of course. Um, and I'm really looking forward to this. Now, the timing of this is a little bit awkward because I actually retired three years ago after chairing my tricep at the Log Lifting World Championships in 2016. But getting an invitation from you, I simply can't say no. And I will come back out of retirement just to take that in, uh, invitation. Now, because my schedule is crazy busy right now, and I know that you will probably be soon um, preparing for the Arnold, I would suggest that we do this, um, let's say two or three weeks after the Arnold, so that you have time to, you know, focus on the Arnold, and then after the Arnold, um, just um, you know, enough time to to get um, fresh again for the challenge. Um, and it gives me time to come basically out of retirement and uh, build my strength up to a level, uh, you know, from, from retirement level to a level where um, I am comfortable in uh, messing with a four-time World's Strongest Man. So my suggestion would be that we do this in mid-late March. Um, I hope you're a man of your word and that we'll meet in a few months to battle it out with some squats. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, and no matter how the outcome, I will enjoy every freaking second of it.